Howdy, Rowdy Yates with High Plains Biochar. Today I want to show you guys the Rocketchar 301 Biochar Production Unit. This machine turns waste like wood waste, agricultural waste, hemp, and other biomass into heat, biochar, and ultimately carbon credits. Today we're going to go over the features of the machine. This is the PID temperature controller. We measure temperature at two different points with this. The first is in the main burn chamber where this temperature controller controls the temperature that the biochar is produced at. The second temperature is taken at the top of the stack and that controls the heat exchanger fan. This temperature controller also has an app that allows you to monitor and control this system anywhere you have phone service or a computer. This is the emergency shutoff. In the event of an emergency, you can shut off the entire machine by pressing this red button. This is the igniter. This allows you to automatically start the system using wood pellets. This is the bin vibrator. What this does is it keeps fuel going into the fuel feed auger consistently. This is the draft inducer. This is used during startup to help start the draft of the stove. So this is the fuel feed auger. This is how we control the, the amount of fuel going into the machine. We can adjust the speed with this dial and the PID temperature controller shuts this auger off once we reach the set temperature. With this auger, this is the biochar auger, we can adjust the dwell time of the biochar in the reactor tube by adjusting the speed of this auger either up or down. Between these two features, we're able to control the temperature and the dwell time of the biochar in the reactor tube. The last feature we're going to go over here is the quench pump. And what this does is this quenches the biochar as it comes out of the reactor tube by adding steam and water to the biochar. You can adjust this by controlling this dial and that allows you to adjust the RPMs on the motor. Now that we've gone over the features of the machine, we're going to start up. And the first step in starting the machine up is turning on the draft inducer, which gets the draft going in the stove. Then we're going to open up the main burn chamber. We've already got the main fuel trough filled with wood chips, and we've got a little bit of cardboard and paper put in here. Next, I'm going to drop a few more pieces of wood waste in and light the fire. And that's it, we're gonna go ahead and close the front door. All right, now we're through the startup process and we're up to temperature. So now our main burn chamber, the temperature is 1270 degrees, our set point is 1286. So we're gonna feed fuel until the machine reaches 1286 degrees and then we'll stop feeding fuel and that's how we control the temperature of the biochar being produced. Now that the machine is up to temperature, we're going to go ahead and start producing some biochar. So we're at the back of the machine right now, and this is the back of the reactor tube where the biochar comes out and where this is where the quench water goes in. So right now we're going to open this up and see some biochar coming out. The most pure carbon. Today we're cooking at about 1200 degrees. It's nice, light, fluffy, beautiful biochar. Now that we've shown you the overview of the Rocketchar 301 Biochar Maker, we've shown you the startup process and what it looks like when the biochar comes out of the back of the machine, I want to explain to you a little bit about what makes this technology different than some of the other biochar technologies. The main difference is the simplicity of this design. Part of that simplicity is that we've removed the fan used for moving air, so this technology does not require a fan for moving air. That also means this technology uses significantly less electricity than some other technologies that are out there, making this the Prius of biochar technologies. So, if you have a small regenerative farm, if you have a sawmill, if you're a cannabis farmer, and you have waste biomass available and a need for heat, the Rocketchar 301 can be the perfect fit for your situation. Please feel free to check us out on the website for more information.